A couple of weeks ago, a gentleman made his way to a wedding. A very celebrated gentleman, a very high-ranking gentleman, and took to the dance floor to show just how much his knees are in good shape. That gentleman, only yesterday, was chairman at an occasion where I was privileged to be anchor, and he took charge as only him can. A man astute in shuttle diplomacy, a former president and cultural aficionado, I bring you a man whose time it is to deliver his intervention at this celebration today. Please help me welcome a man popularly referred to as OBJ, His Excellency, <laughs> Chief Olusegun Obasanjo. Continue to clap, it's a long walk. And he makes his way, exchanges pleasantries as he always does. We celebrate His Excellency. Excellency. Your Excellency, my boss, the celebrant, a man of destiny. Sir, before I go on and recognize or acknowledge the presence of all the distinguished men and women here, I want to report to you the chairman of this occasion, because on the program, if you look at your program very well, I'm not billed to speak. And the chairman of this occasion, I said to him that if he will chair well, he will not call me to speak. <laughs> and he said he will use his power and authority to make sure that I am called out to speak. And I said if he does that, he will not have been chairing well. As if that was not bad enough, when I was called out, he said he has successfully performed a coup. <laughs> Sir, in your power and authority as the former President and head uh, and commander in chief, I will leave the judgment in your hand. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be speaking. And I don't want to undermine myself by saying today what I should be saying tomorrow. A 
but I will say a few of the things that I will, have been, I will be saying tomorrow. One is that one is that this is a national celebration. And you are worthy to be nationally celebrated while you are still alive. I look at the galaxy of distinguished men and women around. Only very few of them can claim to be eyewitnesses to your time in government, not to talk of your time in the army. And because by the grace of God, who has given you the longevity of life, and who has given me a little bit to be following you. <laughs> I, just, I will just thank God on your behalf that God has made you to be 90. If I have come from Calabar, I will say 90 no be yoke. <laughs> and sir, sir, 90 no be joke. I will reserve the rest of my comment till tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your Excellencies. Indeed, former President Olusegun Obasanjo, His Excellency, is a man who is a delight to media personalities. Not only is he a delight to media personalities, he indeed brings it each time a Nigerian celebrates you, sir. We welcome you and we thank you for your intervention today.